Hi, welcome along to another video. Links to the articles that are featured are in the information section of this video. Just before we start, just do a bit of administration if you like um, on some video platforms. If you find the video is a bit blurry or the articles are blurry and you can't read them, try hitting the settings. So on mine for example, it comes up as auto 480p and for someone with fibre, I'd expect a bit faster than that, a bit better quality. But that's YouTube automatically streaming to you at that quality. If you don't know what to do, hit, hit the quality button and then you can select 720p or HD. You might find your video viewing a bit more pleasurable. The American election, next month. If you're in America, and you are in these areas Washington DC or District of Columbia Alabama Mississippi Oregon Wyoming Pennsylvania New Jersey Rhode Island New Hampshire Vermont or Iowa then you can vote for Jolie Diane for president in 2020 why would you want to do that? Well, let me explain to you. You can see there, zero geoengineering, zero 5G, zero GMO, zero facts. So why vote for her? It's pretty obvious why you should vote for her. Please, if you know people in those areas, make sure they know Jolie is available to be voted for. Make sure they know why, even if they're not into things. Maybe they're so fed up that they would like to vote for someone that's a bit more on side, on our side. Then this is the person to go for. And only you, the public, the American public, only you can make it happen. Jolie can't make it happen. Jolie can't create millions of votes. Jolie's got one vote. I can't make it happen. I live in the UK. But you can make it happen if you're in one of those areas. Just a little cross in a box. It's not hard, is it? if you do it en masse, you've changed something. Good luck. Continuing with the USA, from the Daily Sentinel, permit renewal sought for Grand Mesa cloud seeding. The entity that operates a long-running cloud seeding program aimed at boosting snowfall on the Grand Mesa is seeking to have its state permit for the program renewed for 10 years and the licenses are being applied for by the Water Enhancement Authority and Western Weather Consultants. The Water Enhancement Authority proposes to continue conducting the Grand Mesa operation on behalf of entities including the city of Grand Junction, Grand Mesa Water Conservancy District, Grand Mesa Water Users Association, Ute Water Conservancy District, Powderhorn Ski Company and Culbrun Water Conservancy District. Altogether, 16 organisations are involved, said Mark Ritterbush, the authorities' secretary and treasurer. The Grand Mesa programme dates back decades. So, the Water Enhancement Authority. The company's filing status is listed as delinquent, as per July 2019. The company has one principal on record, that's Mark Ritterbush. You can see it's in Colorado, filing status delinquent. And then the other people applying for a license, Western Weather Consultants, categorised under Weather Modification Services. Our records show it was established in 1976 and incorporated in Colorado. Current estimates show this company has an annual revenue of $400,000 and employs a staff of approximately three. There's a link to visit the website, which is uh, to westernweather.net. When you click on the link, it's wix.com. Looks like this domain isn't connected to a website yet, which is quite interesting situations for um, both companies involved in applying for licenses to carry out weather modification. Well, one is delinquent and one doesn't even have a website. Okay. Yeah, that's normal people of Colorado you pay your taxes watch where your taxes are going 
in the interest of balance so that people see that it's all not just about the USA, over to Iran. Iran's IRGC using RQ-170 drones to seed clouds. This is from the Iran front page. You can see the drone there. The Aerospace Division of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, says it is using a reverse engineered version of the American unmanned aerial vehicle RQ-170 to seed clouds. The move comes to tackle droughts in parts of the country. Over to the UAE in construction week. They're discussing construction materials and hitting on the subject of as cloud seeding in the UAE has become more successful, we're getting more rain. However, the rain is either causing flooding, causing us to drain it out, or is falling on desert areas and is not being utilised at all. Also in the UAE, for food and security in the UAE, think local. The UAE has consistently proved to be an early adopter of breakthrough technologies. While cloud seeding has certainly increased the amount of annual rainfall in the UAE, the nation has limited capacity to harvest and store this water. Over to Malaysia. And the latest news on the dam that we've been covering this story for quite a few months now. He said cloud seeding is still needed in the catchment area to refill the dam. This is the only way to refill the dam to safer levels before the end of the year, he said. The state government had approved cloud seeding operations over water catchment areas earlier this year. However, eight of the 16 cloud seeding operations were put on hold since July due to a technical issue, he claimed, which you'll remember was the uh, the cloud seeding flares hadn't been delivered. So He said the eight outstanding cloud seeding operations will primarily target the water catchment area of the dam. These are critical operations that must be carried out before December the 31st to re refill the dam with as much rainwater as possible. Same story in the Malaysia Star. Now a story about south and southeast of Asia, where they state, apart from cloud seeding with its microscopic effect, humans have no control over the timing, magnitude and duration of rainfall that will occur at any point on the surface of the Earth. Which, as you know, is a complete and utter lie. Whether that's through poor education, whether it's misinformation, disinformation, it really doesn't matter. That is just such a lie that the person's just offensive. Microscopic effect. So when southern states in India do cloud seeding and they kill 250 people in the state below them, that's a microscopic effect, is it? News from the Arctic. The Arctic could soon be ice-free in the summer. Can geoengineering help? No, it can't reason it can't help is because Russian nuclear icebreakers to open previously impassable trade fruit through Arctic will keep returning once you freeze it again, if you freeze it again, to open it up again. Because it's a business thing. It's a money thing. From the World Trade Institute, opening up the Northern Sea Route will change the face of trade. This is more focused on it's the climate that's causing the Northern Trade Route to be open and not icebreakers, even though ships are already navigating the passage without the aid of icebreakers. So first come the icebreakers and break the ice, the ice melts, ships can navigate the passage, but that's all climate change, apparently. New one to watch out for, geomimicry, imitation of nature to limit the impact of climate change. Another distraction word, away from geoengineering, that's about all we're going to say on that one. That was in the Pledge Times. I have no idea why environmental articles are appearing in a furniture polish website. And on that note, wish you love. Look after yourselves. Be safe. Prep everything. Escape routes. Where you're going to go to. What you can carry. What you can't carry. What you should carry. What you shouldn't carry. Preparation. Keep things moving forward and we are winning this battle. You're seeing people in the UK now, you're seeing politicians and mayors rejecting what the government is saying. 
localized rejection of what centralized government is saying. If you're hearing this message, it's because you are the resistance. Good luck. See you next time.